Hi guys, Andy Riard here from Axiom Wax Academy. I'm here at the very fabulous Truly Scrumptious in Basingstoke. We thought we'd do a quick video to show you the new Outback Organic Opal Peelable Wax, show you the temperature, the consistency, how to use it on the skin. So I have my heater come on 90 minutes before I come in in the morning. It's on a timer. If you're using the Outback Peelable uh, uh, Wax in the pot, so using the Outback heater, it needs to be set at around number five, and it will look like this when you come in in the morning. So it will have a solid core in the middle of the pot and it will be melted around the edges. Eventually throughout the day it will melt all the way through, but certainly when you start you want it to have that solid core. Now you can either take your melted wax from around the edge like this, it will have this lovely gel consistency, or you can actually turn the wax over and then take your wax from just underneath the core in that cooler part of the pot there. So it should have this gel consistency. So if you're already using the Outback Gold Wax, you'll notice that's the first difference. It's more of a gel texture rather than golden syrup. When it's applied to the skin, it has this wonderful smooth application, goes on nice and thinly, less strings, fewer strings than the gold wax. Um, it sets a little bit quicker as well. You'll see it change colour ever so slightly. When it's ready to come off, just lift your edge and peel off in the opposite direction, exactly as you would do with your gold peelable wax. The Outback Opal is a synthetic resin, so it has all of the advantages of, of that compared to natural resin waxes. It's slightly less sticky, so you'll notice less pull on the skin for your clients easier for you to create those clean edges and much easier for you to get that lip up as well. So I'm going to use it on a lovely client here, the very fabulous Claire. Hello! <laughs> We're going to do an underarm wax for you just so you can see the wax in action. I've already cleaned and prepped the skin with the oil so we'll go straight into the treatment. So we get a ball of wax on the tip of the spatula, so scoop a ball out like you're getting yogurt out of a pot with a spoon as my trainer Sara says, that's the best way of, of describing it. You then use the tip of your spatula to apply your wax in the direction of hair growth, nice fluid motion, it can go on relatively thin you'll notice it changes color ever so slightly as it dries. So it goes from that beautiful deep plum purple to a slightly lighter mauve or lavender color. Sets very quickly. When it no longer sticks to your fingers, it's ready to come off. So about five to 10 seconds once it hits the skin. Stretch the skin, lift your edge. One, two, hand down to take away the sting as always. And then we'll then put our next line alongside of it. So as I said, I have this on a five in an Outback heater. If you're using one of the 800 gram Hive style heaters, you want it set at around the number three. On a digital heater, it's in the low 60s. So I've been using it at around 64, 65. Every digital heater, or in fact, every heater, digital or analog, will be slightly different. So you will need to have a play around with your temperatures. It needs to have that gel consistency. That's how you know it's at the right temperature. And as I said, that solid core when you start out at the beginning of the day. We've got one last little patch here where the hair is going in a slightly different direction. You can go straight back over the skin with this wax as well because it is a low temperature formulation. It won't feel scalding hot for the client. We'll give that a couple of seconds to set. Hopefully you can see on the, on the camera it is changing colour slightly. Stretch that skin, lift our edge, one, two, and off. And there we go. So that's the new Outback Opal Peelable Wax. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments box below. You can also email us. Um, hope you found it useful and we'll see you soon.